Today you might have learned that the hot fusion project has been pushed out into the long grass, potentially um, well after the uh, second half of the uh, century begins. So uh, I come to you with more uh, sad news and really we need to do something. Yesterday I shared a call that I made with Norris Peary uh, and this man worked for 26 years developing a fusion system using electrolytically loaded uh, palladium in a glow discharge uh, field inside a reactor which also had uh, microwaves and he claims incredible heat production and also all elements in the periodic table uh, with a sort of capacitive discharge skewed towards the light elements. Well, I was looking for people to work with us um, uh, with the Echo and the Nova technologies uh, and since uh, there is some similarities between some of these uh, technologies and Norris Peary's work. We thought it might be good to have some knowledge sharing agreements or, or something along those lines. And so I reached out to him on the weekend and I got a um, very gracious reply. Um, and uh, it said that essentially he had uh, been diagnosed with a terminal condition and was in a hospice. This cannot continue. I feel extremely sorry for him. He's basically given over a very large proportion of his energy, his money uh, and his intellect into developing a technology. And he has it really nearly ready for prime time and he gets struck with this affliction. So, uh, we must ask ourselves, are we wanting this to happen? Are we wanting this technology to be made so that it can be useful to humans? Too many times in history has this technology been suppressed or claimants uh, been paranoid and not released the technology or bankers have come down hard on them. Well in the next day or two uh, we will have a live call and we invite all of you uh, to join us on that call and to question us uh, as we prepare to leave for India. This is extremely important and you have to ask yourself do we want a technology that will free us from the shackles of the energy system that we live under today. Do you really want it? So please look out on our normal channels for when we will um, have this live call. Uh, I hope George Eagley, who will be coming on the testing team for Echo, myself, and uh, Ryan Hunt, uh, potentially um, Alan Goldwater can join us on that call. And it will be a free question and answer. And uh, we need to present something to you and uh, seek your opinion and advice. And we need to stop this cycle. To Norris Peary's family, I'm very sorry for the situation you are in. Norris, you told me in February that this only happens in a liquid system. And Murray says you need a liquid or a plasma to be able to form the plasmoids or charge clusters, as Kenneth Shoulders says. I think you very nearly had it. Certainly, the call that I had with you that I shared publicly yesterday, it was key in my journey of understanding. And thank you very much for uh, taking the time to share that knowledge with me.
Everyone, this is our time.